fine. What? What? What happened? What they do? This is Jack Duckerly's girlfriend, McKinley Richardson, and it looks like she finally got what she deserves. And to be honest, her reaction is crazy. I don't know who idea it was, but I do feel bad for her because that's a real breakdown. Hey, what do you do? I don't know. What? Wait, did you take your stuff? I think. And Jack, your girlfriend got violently robbed. So maybe it's not a good idea to shout in her face while she breaks down in front of you. And so if you're not familiar with this OF model, she's basically part of Jack's entourage, which is kind of like a modern day pimpin, where Jack showcases a bunch of OF models on his streams and videos to boost their subscribers. And then he takes a portion of the money they earn, of course. All right, baby Gronk, which one of these girls is the prettiest? I want all three of them. All three of them? All right, well, if you can dunk over all three of them, they'll give you a kiss. Okay. All right, baby Gronk, go. All right, let's see, let's see. No way. Oh, over all of them. Hi. You guys know what you gotta do. Group hug, cause he's not of age. Yeah. Just imagine if it was vice versa. A bunch of fully grown men hugging a 11 year old girl. Yeah, what do you think will happen? They will definitely be in prison. You going to jail? You're going again. Or even worse, imagine if a grown man with an OF account asking an 11 year old girl if she would prefer a car or something else. Honestly, if that happened, getting cancelled will be the least of his worries. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will play the clip so you can understand. I'd rather have this girl or this Eurus. I'm taking that Eurus. Eurus? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> would you rather have this girl or this McLaren? Uh, McLaren. McLaren? Oh, okay. Alright, well, sorry. All right, would you rather have this girl or this blue Lambo? Lambo. Still? Still. Not good enough for you? No. Oh my gosh. And so McKinley's whole career, if that word is accurate, it just posting videos of content tailored directly to children. Like her audience is mostly kids, considering the fact that she's been promoted on Jack's YouTube channel to young males and even collabing with posts aboard of young boys. Okay, baby Gronk, we're in Miami. It's exotic. What's your favorite part about it? The exotic girls, exotic cars, and the exotic money. Oh my goodness. If you could pick one of those three, what would they be? Money, because I can buy girls and cars with it. Valid. Well, at first, like everybody else, I thought she may be harmless, but boy, I don't know if her content is socially acceptable. I doubt it's even legal. Watch this. However many push-ups you do is your budget. It's one thing you've never told your mom, and I'll buy whatever you want. When I Excuse me, are you following me? Yeah. Are you actually? Excuse me, are you following me? Yes. Are actually? Pr prove it. Oh my gosh, guys, he's actually following me. Okay, well, do you want to go shopping? Yes. Okay, well, let's go. Now, from those videos, which are completely done with young kids, by a mattress actress, I heard somebody said that word, which I think is accurate, I won't be surprised if she's asking them straight up to subscribe to her OF, right there on the spot. And if that is not the case, she may do it off camera at least. And guys, if this were a man, what do you think people would say? They would probably compare him to someone like Doctor of Disrespect or Mr. Beast. But again, when you think about it, she is Jack Duggerty's girlfriend, guys. I mean, I won't be biting my fingers if she's dating this kid. Alright, McKinley, the reason I brought you to Dubai is I had a really important question to ask you. Are you the love of my life. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, that's some lovey-dovey-ish. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna take back what I said. She's gonna be the most loyal wife Jack ever did see. Kinley, do you wanna look at the pictures that I got of you from LA? And then she, just, she comes into my room. She gets in the bed with me under the covers. We're just like on the laptop, whatever. Very shortly, laptop closes. We're making out. I'm doing some things with her, whatever, you know. And then Jack walks in. He's like, yo, are we gonna go get some... Uh, oh, oh. Yo! And then walks back out. I look at McKinley, I'm like... Uh. Yeah. And then we just go back to making out whatever. And so from Rock Bar, we were on our way back to the house. And in the Uber, I'm like talking Spanish to the to the Uber driver because like whatever. Like I was speaking to him, and she was like, "Oh my god, that's so hot!" And then she just started making out with me again, <laughs> literally. Like lit. Like in I'm not even, in, the, yes. in the Uber. I, I have I have a snapshot of her, me and her, just making out in the back. Well, you know what they say? If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. Guys, it turns out that her trying to sell her OF pictures and videos to kids may actually be one of the least shocking things she does on her OF page. And also, I think I get it now why Jack was hopelessly trying to get rid of her in this clip that I'm about to show you, considering that she was in the passenger seat all the time. Oh, oh 
help. And so by now, you guys got the idea. It's clear that both of them are some donuts and totally deserve how they are treating each other. Anyways, let's go back to McKinley and the clip of her getting robbed by a thug. What? What? What happened? What they do? Give me all your money. What the hell has happened? I admit it, it's kind of awkward to feel happy when someone else is dealing with something as rough as a robbery. But honestly, this situation feels like a scene from a comedy show. And your first instinct will be that this is probably fake. And 90%, you are right. I mean, she's still breaking down and all Jack and the others care about is what got taken. I'm not even making this up. That's literally what they all ask her about in the whole video. And honestly, this right here may be a proof that some people really do seal their souls just to stay relevant but considering that she acts so poorly while being rich and seemingly fine it makes you wish they could like realize that the word isn't their playground it will be nice if something shook her up a bit showing her that she's not untouchable because her behavior screams arrogance and total lack of accountability which the same can't be said about her boyfriend and so maybe a little reality chick will help her see things differently McKinley, oh my god i'm sorry what the fuck, Ma McKinley? What did he do to you? What did he do? Nothing. He didn't do anything to me. He was just going like this. He was like, find your purse. Really? Yes. He was in here, and I was trying to find it. I was like, please help me find what, what it. What was he? What African? Oh my God, McKinley, it's right here. He, your purse is right here. Look. I, I know, but he was in here trying to fuck. Oh my yeah, God. I swear to God on my life. What nationality was he? We have everything. We have, well, obviously, oh my god. Now, putting aside whether the robbery video is real or not, one life lesson don't go to come town at 3 a.m. Or do you, my friend? It's your life, but just don't say I didn't warn you. And as for the whole situation, consider it as something from the universe or a low catch ups with that creepy, pervy master plan to get every kid to stop buying the V Box on Fortnite with their parents' credit card and sell up to her OF instead. Anyways, that's that's it for me today. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys really soon. Peace out.